everybody what is up and welcome to rock gamer and we got a bunch of new rock band 4 news to break down for you today so let's talk about the latest build footage that just came out this is the first full screen gameplay footage we've seen this is from a guy named hutch who along with some other guys competed in the battle of the bands tournament at e3 and uh, he was actually paid by Harmonix as well as the other guys i believe because he put in his video description that this was a paid advertisement just to get people to go pre-order the game so we've got some new footage of uh the warrior by scandal uh, queens of the stone age as well as spin doctors and you can tell that the note charts look you know similar to what we saw in the newest song announcement trailer there's some cool new effects here for unison bonus that look really good the animations look a lot better and you know we don't see as much of that red color dr you know drowning out all the characters the, the animations look a lot better too. The only one thing I'm still a little disappointed with is the hammer-ons and pull-offs. They kind of look really hard to distinguish from the regular notes, but I think that's something that'll be ironed out in uh, future builds of the game. In other Rock Band 4 news, we learned that there's going to be a cross-promotion with Forza 5 for the Xbox One. Uh, there's going to be three different Rock Band 4 themed cars. There's a Chevy Corvette Stingray, a 1968 Dodge Dart Hemi Superstock, and a 1983 GMC Ventura G1500. Those are the pictures you see right now. I've put a link down in the description below just to explain exactly how to unlock these cars in the game. In other Rock Band 4 news, we uh, saw an interview this week that Harmonix did with Everybody Plays. There was a one little new tidbit of information regarding the career mode. If you played Rock Band 3's career mode, you'll remember that you're always ranked using stars. But then there was this new system where they would rank you using spades. And the spades were basically used to rank you and how well you would complete secondary objectives. Like, you know, activating overdrive three times during a song or something like that. Well, it was confirmed during the interview that these spades will not make a return in Rock Band 4 for the career mode. Our final piece of Rock Band 4 news for the week is the leaked set list that was apparently leaked on 4chan. Somebody claimed to have the entire set list and put all the songs up on Reddit. And now this has been shot down by Harmonix as being false, but I think there's some validity to this Seek Leak set list because I think there's a lot of songs we may see on disc for Rock Band 4. I've put the entire list down in the description box below. If you guys want to see it, click down there. And if you guys want to stay up to date on all things Rock Band 4 related, be sure to click the subscribe button. Take care.